Hey, what's going on? It's Wes. Now, I believe that we live now in an era where the smartphone market is maturing and the yearly upgrade of phones is not that substantial anymore compared to the past decade that we've had. So right now, I'm gonna review the iPhone 10 if it is still possible to use in 2021, which it is. But you will know now why. Starting with the design, the iPhone 10 has stainless steel all around the edges of the phone and glass on the front and back of the phone. Even though the iPhone 10 was released in 2017, with this design choice in mind, it doesn't feel like a 4-year-old phone. Especially with the size of the screen that it has. The iPhone 10 has 5.8 inches OLED display which looks vibrant and very crispy in today's standards. The screen quality is nice. It supports HDR. If you want to watch movies or any kind of videos, it will be very comforting to know that you have the most accurate display ever on a phone. As I said earlier that the screen of this phone has 5.8 inches in size, even though that sounds small in today's standards, this is not a small phone. You can still play games with this, scroll through social media, watch movies, watch any kinds of videos that you want, you name it, you're still gonna enjoy this phone. Now the iPhone 10 is the first iPhone that has ditched the home button which supports the Touch ID. Even though the Face ID is very convenient and very fast, that one glance and the phone will unlock. The problem here is that we live now in a time where we should wear a mask all the time and face ID doesn't work if you're wearing a mask so it is gonna be somewhat of a hassle for you if you have an iPhone that has face ID because every time you wanna unlock your phone if you're outside your home you still have to type the passcode of your iPhone but it doesn't even bother me quite a bit because I can just still type my passcode as quickly as opening my phone with Face ID. So it's not a problem to me, it could be a problem to you, but we cannot deny the fact that it is still inconvenient. Now the processor of the iPhone 10 is A11 Bionic chip which is very fast and very capable here in 2021. It does hold up very well especially with regular usage, with scrolling through social media or watching videos. But even though it's playing games also and editing videos if you want to do it on your phone, it is still very usable and very capable. You won't have any problems using this phone especially when it comes to the speed of it because especially you know Apple. Apple supports their phones for quite a while. The iPhone 6s, it was released in 2015. The iPhone 6s released in 2015 still supported by Apple when it comes to the software updates. So the iPhone 6s supported in iOS 15 and iOS 15 will keep on getting updates until the release of iOS 16 next year. So what does it mean? We can say that the iPhone 6s can be supported by Apple for a whole 7 years. Now the iPhone 10 is a 4 year old phone but even though it is, it can still be supported by Apple for another 3 years which is great. Now what comes with an old phone is an old battery and that is the most frustrating part of this phone personally because even though this phone is very fast and very great it is very capable the battery is not that very you know supporting to you and it is not a problem just for iPhones because we all know that iPhones tend to have the worst battery when it comes to their old phones but it is normal because phone batteries in general are not that big so if you give them time they will degrade fast. So when the iPhone 10 was released, it had a great battery life. But here in 2021, if you're gonna buy a used iPhone 10, you have to plug them in every now and then. But if you're gonna buy an iPhone 10 that is new and has that 100% maximum capacity of the battery health of that phone, then you won't have any problems with this. So let's talk camera. You won't have any problems with the cameras on this phone because we all know that iPhone cameras tend to last better than any other phones out there. So as long as you're taking photos with bright lighting, you won't have any problems with this. The pictures are sharp, the color is accurate. The front facing camera is quite average but it is still better than any other budget phones that you can get on the market because the front facing camera of this phone is still very accurate and very good. It is still have portrait effects and other things that you want to get on a front facing camera. Going to the video side of this phone, you won't, no one's gonna complain about it. 
because even though this phone is a 4 year old phone, the video capability of this phone is still far better, far better than any Android phone that you can get on the market right now. If you're gonna buy this phone just for the cameras, just buy it. If you need a phone here in 2021 and you need to buy a phone but you don't have the fortune to buy the expensive phones, I encourage you to buy this phone because buying this phone now, secondhand, will get you for around $200 or 10,000 pesos, which is great. Because even though you're paying for a price of a budget phone, you're still gonna get a flagship iPhone. If you like this video, give it a like. If you don't want it, the other button seems to work as well. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to be the first one to see future videos like this. Have a great day.